Hello, plant friends. Hope you guys are all staying happy and healthy out there in real life land. In this episode, I take us on a brown spot or leaf spot tour. <laughs> so one of the most common questions I get asked, and I'm sure you guys wonder about, um, and I'm sure you guys hear other people asking is like, you know, what do we do with you know, these, these spots on our leaves. And, you know, the spots are always sort of a little different or a little weird. So um, in this episode, I try to show you guys some of my uh, leaf spots and my thoughts on them. Okay, so I want to talk about this plant right here. Um, well, actually, the leaf of this plant right here. This is one of my anthuriums. I don't know, it's one of the big varieties. I really don't know <laughs> what it's called. I've had it for ages. It continues to only have two leaves at a time and it always drops the other one. So let's talk about this spot right there. I'm not sure if like depth shows so much on this, but there's like a curvature of the leaf. And I'm um, sorry, ooh, ooh, the, the color is changing. And But anyways, there is a um, curvature of the leaf. So, you know, there's like a, a sort of like a, a cupping right here of the leaf. So you can see that this yellowing and this brown spot right here is well it's logically very logically due to this cupping right as i'm either watering this a lot and maybe some of the um, water gets gets on here or if i'm spraying or misting or anything like that there's this cupping segment sort of keeps the water like the texture is very very different obviously the coloration is very very different and it's hard to say that this is due to just like general humidity or the leaf drying out, right? Because it's very, it's just this part. And it's also the part that, uh, you know, that cups the water. So this is very obviously a stagnant water issue that promotes uh, bacterial and fungal growth on this leaf. I'm not really surprised just because there is this, you know, such a big, a, a cupped segment here. So probably if I was more prudent, I would probably, um, you know, wipe down these areas. If I was, you know, keeping a closer eye on my plants, I would wipe that down if I saw any like sitting water on there. Okay, so moving on. This uh, pot has a fibrosum, a philodendron fibrosum. And then it also has my, uh, one of my Monstera, variegated Monstera arias. So let's look at these two leaves down here. This is one of the earlier fibrosum leaves. Um, if I look at it, it's sort of most of the stem is in the soil. And, and basically I think it lost like another leaf or two. And then the, it sort of has vined up and the, the newer leaves are looking really, really good. So basically this is just this is just an old leaf. I suspect it's going to keep yellowing up from down here. It's going to go up and then basically this leaf is just going to fall off. I do want to note that, you know, this area right here, this area right here cannot really be attributed to uh just the leaf sort of dying off, right? You can see that obviously this is much looking much different from this sort of yellowing and and browning. This is either just the plant being too wet or this area for some reason like stayed too wet. So some bacteria or fungal growth kind of got on it. And then I, I think like these spots, right? These spots sort of kind of attributed that to that too. These yellow uh, brownish spots, right? They also indicate that probably this is, there's some bacterial or fungal growth that damaged the leaf. You know, this could very well be a bruise, like it bruised and then sort of the integrity of the leaf kind of like got damaged, which made it more vulnerable to bacterial or fungal growth. And then maybe like that bacteria or fungus kind of just like, you know, kind of came out here as I was watering or misting it. So, so there we go. That's, uh, that's that leaf. Um, let's talk about this leaf. This leaf has been on this aria for, for quite a while. So you can see that this also has some spots right here. Can't really say too much how these spots came to be. Again, I also suspect some fungal bacterial growth. These spots, I'm this one I'm not too, too worried about because it's on a variegated uh, sector and I just kind of expect those to turn brown and dry or burn just because they're variegated. Also sort of this spot, this spot is also, I'm, I'm not, I'm less concerned about this. Um, and I would say that of all these spots, even though this is the most, I guess, jarring, these are the spots that I'm most worried about. 
All right, so when I, when I look at a leaf like this, I'm very cool with a leaf like this, right? Like this leaf is just telling me, okay, it's, it's probably just, it's probably just my humidity. It's probably just, you know, the leaf drying up. So when, if we're talking about humidity and low humidity and your leaf drying up because of that, it's usually from the edges, right? You see that these, it's, it's basically from the edges, pretty uniform or uniform-ish. The leaf itself, the inside is really, you know, spotless. It's, you know, no, no spots there. If you're worried about like the cause, I think it's pretty safe to say this is a humidity issue. That doesn't bother me. I'm not going to change my humidity to make me uncomfortable so that my plants uh, won't have these spots. But uh, if, you know, if that's a thing for you guys, then yeah, yeah, put this uh, near closer to a humidifier or something um, and away from a heat source. I think the good thing when you see spots like these is that you know it's not a bacterial or fungal issue and it's not a um, like a pest issue. Okay, let's talk about this plant. So this plant uh, is my Philodendron heterocraspidon. And we're going to talk about this because of this. <clears throat> right, you can see the you can see the spots on these leaves right here. Right? They're just like pinpoint spots. Uh, this is, you can see it on the underside. Oh yeah, you can see it on the, the top as well, right? These they're like pinpoint spots, they don't really have any yellow ring, right? It's not like a yellow ring. This dark, um, this dark ring around is probably the plant um, being injured and sort of uh, reorganizing, pop, maybe some like plant equivalent of like scar tissue or something, right? But you see that... Uh, Right, you can see that there's like pinpoint spots without a yellow ring right, and up here as well. So when I see these, I this is when I think about bugs, right? I, I think about yeah, basically all, all the pests, insects um, that you can sort of have and sort of have to deal with when you have a reasonable plant collection, right? So, so that's that. And then let's look at this leaf. This leaf, right? Um, this leaf has these red, red spots. When I touch it, the texture feels sort of like different than the regular plant leaf, right? There's like, it's basically some holes that kind of just like dried up, right? If you can, you, I wonder if you can see it well with the right camera. So this, again, this also makes me think of uh, bugs. Right, I think the last leaf that I sort of want to talk about is this one. So let me let me go back. So uh, sort of you know that that leaf, as you can see, is sort of you know deep inside all the plants and leaves that are covering it. So you can imagine that actually I I sort of moved this leaf. Let me move it back. Sort of that's kind of where the leaf was and as you can see like this area right here that's sort of covered by you know plants and leaves all around doesn't have that much humidity or not not humidity it doesn't have that much circulation right air circulation uh the water the air back there is probably more stagnant than any uh, other place in uh my this is probably where some water kind of just stayed there for a while promoted some bacterial and fungal growth and it just kind of chewed the leaf, right? You see like some yellow, some yellow ring around these spots. Yeah, I suspect this is also some fungal bacterial uh, growth. When I look at something like this, it's not surprising to have this, I guess, injury or deficit, right? Because it's, it's one is that this, this it's a ridged leaf, this uh, Anthurium uh, uh, vietchii. So it's a ridged leaf, and also it's in a in an environment where, right? Look, right? Like there's there's look where it it, it lives. Right? It's not like it doesn't. There's not that much. Um, there's not that much uh, air circulation, air going in and out of it. So, um, well, that's that. All right, guys, so that about wraps it up. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, and the shirt, um, you know, this was 
designed and uh, made by one of my friends, JC. And uh, if you guys like it and you guys want to support the channel, uh, the links are down there somewhere on Teespring as well as on my Amazon storefront. So, um, right, right, right. <laughs> Till next time, happy planting.